So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, Yusuf alayhi salam, he was one of the most powerful men you could have. He had the control over the Egyptian empire, the kingdom of Egypt. Powerful. It was one of the biggest and the most powerful of the time. And he had so much wealth. He was the one giving to everybody. And he had lots of good looks. MashaAllah, he was the most beautiful human being you could have. So handsome, given from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He had wealth. He had authority. He had everything you could think of. He had his parents now were here. He had his brothers. They solved the problem in a minute. How did they solve the problem? I need to pause there for a moment. By one man who was right. Forgiving those who were wrong. Totally. And he says, listen, don't bring it up again. It's over. Forgiven, forgotten. That's how you solve your problems in your houses. That's how you solve your problems with your brothers and sisters. That's how you solve your problems with your in-laws and outlaws. Yes. You know, they always use the term in-law because I think that's where the lawyers come in. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant a savior. I don't know why we look at people with skepticism. There is no need to do that. Not at all. You need to have a clear heart. Life is too short to make our heart murky and dirty. Open it. Forgive. When you forgive, you are liberated. Liberation, meaning you feel free. You feel let loose, mashallah. But if you don't forgive, you hold baggage and it holds more and it ties you with chains and you feel so down and you at night you are feeling so stressed. Why? Your heart has not forgiven. This is what you learn from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. If he wanted, he could have executed them because he was in authority and they wanted to kill him. They could have gone for whatever you'd like to call it in terms of crime. They could have he could have executed them all. But no, he just looked at them and said, no problem, no blame upon you today. Don't worry, Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. That's the last and the first thing he ever said about it. He never spoke about it again. Not at all. And he lived with them so well, he gave them dwellings in Egypt. He let them do as they please. He made them people who were looked up to now in society and community. He never went around telling the whole world that, you know, these are my brothers, this is what they did. You go back to the next man. You see these brothers of mine, they're crooks. You go back to the next man. You see these brothers of mine, they wanted to kill me. You go to the next one. You see these brothers of mine. Why spread stories all over? That is our weakness, the weakness of man. Let us learn a lesson from the story. No point in going to complain about your own brethren to everybody else. Not at all. We need to learn a lesson. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a good lesson.